Hi everyone, we're right before Rosh Hashanah and I wanted to give just one idea that I think is very important because um, I fell into the trap and many people fall into the trap and really uh, the reason is because the Satan, the Yetzirah, the evil inclination is doing everything for us to miss the real power of Teshuvah because if we really do Teshuvah then we become literally like angels like we say on Yom Kippur. So what, <coughs> how, how do we not uh, fell into our doing real teshuva. If really we believe that teshuva really works, that means that when I finish doing teshuva, I am clean. That's it. There's no more. The past is erased. It doesn't exist anymore. It got actually transformed into mitzvot. So what that means? It means that right now we're just before Shoshana. We did we did slichot. We did uh, teshuva the whole month of Elul. And I'm coming on Rosh Hashanah and I'm clean, I'm pure. You have to try to tap into that feeling. If you really did Shuvah, then you shouldn't feel anything bad anymore about anything you have done because you trust that God forgave you. And therefore you're so happy and you're coming now in front of God and you're going to just sing out of joy. On Rosh Hashanah, we don't cry, we're really happy. And we are, we are just celebrating the new you, not the past you. You don't want to live in the past. Everything happens with what you do now. If now you're now in the present and future, then the past doesn't exist anymore. You have transformed and elevated the past based on who you are now. So if you still feel guilty about your past, that means you're still in the past. So you have to erase, understand, not erase the past, but understand you elevated the past. Um, and, and therefore, in a way, the teshuva that we do before Rosh Hashanah and after Rosh Hashanah is too different. It's teshuva. The one before is from the previous year. The one we do now between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur is really more of a teshuva of, wow, I could have done even, even more teshuva. I could have, uh, uh, on Rosh Hashanah, I could maybe even have come even closer to God. Or there are areas that I, um, I, I, I thought I've done teshuva or areas where um, I thought I could have uh, become someone uh, uh, even greater. I didn't. Um, and because of Rosh Hashanah, we realize we are children of Hashem, literally, and servants of God, of the King of the world. Wow, if that's really who I am, I'm much greater than I think. So this is that after the Rosh Hashanah, is like a new realization of my true potential and who I can be. And therefore, we do tshuva for not living on that potential. So the tshuva before Rosh Hashanah and after Rosh Hashanah during the ten days is really different. We have we we can't go back to the old mistakes that we have done the previous year because they are gone. It's a it's a new world. It's a new order. It's a new year. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Um, and therefore, may you have all a very happy and successful Shoshana full of um, looking forward of who you are, who you are going to be becoming now, the new you, and um, you're going to have the best time ever. May we all um, be at the celebration, uh, coronation of the king of the world tonight um, and celebrating with happiness, love, and expectation of the greatest things to come of uh, in this year and the greatest things to come from ourselves. The, we are so much greater than we, what you think and we have to believe in ourselves who can be and who we can become. Shana Tova to everyone.